so so last class uh, uh, already we discussed right uh, so how to declare environment variables how to declare environment variables <coughs> what are the default environment variables in jenkins so how to call that environment variables can you see my screen is it So last class already we discussed, right? Yes, sir. If you go to here, if you go to here, system, uh, system configuration, and uh, there is a mostly here in these sections we are using uh, email configuration and also how to declare environment variables and all. If you want to declare any your own variables, so that and all we can declare and we can call it. And uh, Swanar Cube and all we can configure also here and also email so sonar cube right now we don't have we'll see later we need on sonar cube server and if you want to we can install uh, so we can configure that section also so if already that plugin is installed uh, so we can check it if that plugin is installed we can check it this is a sonar cube server if you want to configure any yeah. see if checked job administration will be able to uh, inject a sonar cube server configurations and environment variables so if we click on add server it is asking name we can give uh, any name we can give any name and here we need to give that so sonar cube server url sonar cube server url and also we need to give authentication sonar cube authentication token mandatory when uh, anonymous access is disabled so i don't want to allow all users so only authorized users you want to access it so we have to generate uh, so this is the authentication token in sonar cube server that token id we have to add here <coughs> we need to add uh, so we need we need to add here this is the sonar cube uh, so server installation configuration under so right now we don't have anyway so we'll see coming classes uh, how it will work and how to configure under so these are the mostly in uh, if you come to here manage jenkins manage jenkins under this so system configuration now i hope you got some idea right so what is tool section so under this section uh, so what are the tools we can configure how to configure and all and if you want to install any plugin if you want to install any plugin interval also most of the people they are asking uh, so how to install plugin and all so as of now you know right a few plugins uh, already we installed so what are those plugins uh, already you know right uh, so git plugin already uh, we know right uh, we install git plugin yeah. so git plugin and also we install bitbucket, bitbucket maven plugin. and also maven plugin we install uh, any other plugins we install so this all are the plugins only anyway we will adding one by one plugin so if you go to here so in pro also most of the people they are asking uh, so we can uh, sell uh, uh, sonar cube plugin sonar cube uh, sonar cube plugin and also we can use a deploy to container plugin i didn't install i will show you later deploy <coughs> deploy to container plugin deploy to container plugin so at least remember uh, just a uh, minimum five to seven eight are uh, plugins so interval also most as yes. yesterday also so i attended one interview in that in they asked uh, so what are the plugins installed so just remember so maven plugin in uh, maven plugin git plugin bitbucket plugin what are plugins you know just uh, just uh, so you know right uh, list them that's it okay now in this section uh, this is very very important nodes add remove control and monitor the various nodes that jenkins run on the job okay so this is very very important most of the cases center also they are asking this one okay this is the cloud configuration leave it now come to security now come to security section so if you come to security section here we can see see security credentials credential provider users so mostly in this section we are using also this security and users and all how to configure now as of now uh, uh, observe here now i am logging to the which user i am logging to the administrator user but real time so mostly we won't log in administrator user for every resource, uh, they have own username and password. With the help of that username and password only, we are logged into your Jenkins server. 
we are logged into your Jenkins server. But uh, so this is a practice purpose, right? Most of the cases uh, we logged into administrator. Admin can do anything. Uh, so he has uh, full permissions. Uh, he can do anything. So he can do uh, so anything. This is the administrator. But real time, if you come to real time, uh, so for every resource uh, they have own username, password for connect your Jenkins server. Without username, password we cannot connect. Uh, okay. So now today we'll see so how to create a user sandal and how to check it we'll see now if you go to here security section so now see here users if you click on users so right now i have only one user see here administrator user so this user can log into jenkins servers so this user can log into jenkins servers and they can create jobs and they can do whatever they want okay right now i have only one user so i want to create so we want to create one more user See, if you see right side corner, there is a create user. Create user. Now it is asking username. So, for example, I am using also dev user. I am using also dev user. Password also I am setting also some password. And uh, just give. These are the basic information. Just enter. And uh, so full name. Okay. Dev uh, user. Just I given some email. So whatever you want, we can add it. Email. Just to create the user. See here. Okay. Username. Dev user. Password I given. I set password. Full name. And also it is asking a email ID. Just create the user. Now see here. Now we can. Uh, so user created. The user was created. See dev user. Dev user. And see here. This is right now I logged in user. We cannot delete this user. Right now, which user I logged in? Administrator. So now see here in this user, I can't see any delete option here. So already this is a logged in user. We can't delete anything and all. Now just now I created this is a dev user. Now let me create one more user. Create user. For example, test user. So whatever you want, we can give it. So test user. Just I added one more user I created. See here, this is a one more user. This is a one more. So this is the administrator. Just now I created. Now if you want to log in this user, now let me go to here. First sign out this user. Now enter your username. For example, dev user. What is a password? See, I won't give password. See, invalid username password. Without username password, we cannot log in. So without username admin and uh, so now what is the username dev user and password also I have to give it okay dev user now click on the sign in button now click on the sign in button now see here who is the logged in user our remaining all are same only right now I didn't provide any security and all so now this user has also act as admin only we can do all options we can modify whatever you want uh, we can do here also now this is like a uh, dev user also acting but real time we are providing some security from access levels now based on this we can work on this now so remaining option same only so all are same so you don't worry see dashboard now log out this user for example i want to log in test user now see here test user Now click on this test user. Now see here. Now I logged in which user? Test user. Which user? Test user. Now go to here. Now this user act as admin. Now. Go to manage Jenkins. Go to go to users. Go to manage Jenkins. Click on the users. Now see here test user. We cannot delete this user. This is a logged in user. So remaining two users we can delete it. Remaining two users if you want to we can delete it. So this is a delete option. Suppose in case uh, if you want to update uh, some configuration related user. So related user. So that case click on this and uh, click on the configuration section. And if you want to update uh, username or if you want to change something uh, and what are the credentials if you want to update uh, email ID. So what are the views or extends? Uh, what is the notification URL password? Uh, if you want to update anything. Uh, so if you want to update anything we can go to here. This is a configuration section. Go to 
Jenkins own database right now we are using Jenkins user own database but real time mostly we are using LDAP servers mostly we are using LDAP servers LDAP LDAP servers so mostly we are using uh, so LDAP servers so mostly we are using uh, LDAP servers let me case okay mostly we are using uh, so LDAP servers in real time they are every organization they are maintaining their own server so they are maintaining their own server uh, they are maintaining LDAP stands for protocol design maintain and access directory services so real time every organization they are maintaining their own server all usernames passwords every all username passwords they are maintaining in this server whatever we want we are getting from here only whatever we want we are getting from here only so this is the active directory so mostly real time this is the lightweight directory access protocol LDAP server okay so right now uh, anyway we need to configure uh, these servers and all if you want to maintain username passwords and all but real time hundred percent uh, every organization they are maintaining their own server all <coughs> username passwords and all so separately they are maintaining one server so from them only we are getting these things but right now we don't have right so that is the reason here we are seeing Jenkins own user database so Jenkins itself it is maintaining own user database Jen so jenkins uh, so they are main, jenkins user jenkins server itself it is maintaining own database so right now see here jenkins own user database now click on logout okay so now logout now click on the admin user and all now if you want to create any user same go to manage jenkins go to users under the users whatever you want so suppose if you want to delete any user 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 just now click on the delete button click on the delete button now it is asking uh, so delete Jenkins user test user do you want to really delete yes sir. if you click on now see here user was deleted see it is deleted it is deleted again if you want to add the user create new user again if you want to add the user create new user so like this uh, so how many uh, we can add many users clear clear so that yes sir okay now this is same simple only now if you go here there is a credential section there is a credentials so if we click on credential section and uh, so here also same for example real time we are adding many credentials so whatever you want for example for github so we need to add username password if you want to connect any aws instance so we need username some ss key and all right so that credentials and all how to add it if you click on here if you click on here there is a global credentials there is a credentials that should be available irrespective of domain specification to so requirement of matching so now if you click on this so right now here I already added get credential so whatever credentials you want so how we know this is a great credential if you go to here already I created one job right what is this uh, job mm, I created one job DevOps Java so go to configuration section go to configuration section and uh, so I hope uh, here we can see right here I added credentials see here there is one option is that credential option clear much better see here credential if we click on add if we click on Jenkins same it will go to that option only see here so kind there is a mayor so see there is a total how many kinds so total six ways we can add your credentials and all so now I selected username password I added here and I selected here so this is the credential already added suppose if you want to add one more credentials this is also option this is the actual option where is that go to manage Jenkins so go to credential section and go to system click on the global credential section see here there is a add credentials add credentials so how many ways we can add credentials in interval so one or two people they asked 
so if you see here this is a kind how many ways how many kinds see username password so but mostly real time we are using so username password and sss username with private key and sometimes we are using any uh, you know red certification or secret file so this is mostly depends on your uh, you know right uh, file what type of credential you want to add so under here we need to select so see these are the six types so username with password github app authentication sss username with private key secret file secret test certification so username with password github app authentication this is the username private key secret file secret text secret file secret test certification now simply we'll see how to add username password so later we'll see one by one okay so now i want to add one more credential see here new credentials and kind what type of credential you want to add username with password and enter username for example i want to connect my gate repository my username so this is my uh, so github username and all and uh, so here password we have to enter this uh, password i selected username password what is this username and what uh, this is you know right this is which case we are using this is my username github username a password and uh, so id so id means uh, if you are not providing anything by default jenkins server it will provide one id that is i hope nearly 40 digit number and if you pass uh, something here it won't generate anything it will give so now here my credentials i given something and the description also i am giving same whatever you want we can give it suppose if you give empty by default also mm -hmm. jenkins server it is generating one id okay now i am giving uh, i uh, empty right now we can see okay create now see here so it is generating one id it is generating uh, by default it is generating one id and if you give any something that information only it will display here so what is the username with password kind equal to and uh, what is the description i passed my credentials see here so like this uh, we can pass anything like this uh, we can add credentials like this we can add credentials whatever you want uh, we can add credentials now go to in this section go to here where is this so go to here go to here dashboard and now you can see here also where is that job java job and uh, so under this uh, we can see two options now see here if you go to here so earlier right if you click on drop down option now see which credential you want to select see credentials these credentials we can add here or directly we can add in the that is the actual options so usually all credentials we are adding here only so usually all credentials so what is that option go to dashboard go to manage jenkins and uh, so there is a credential options there is a configure your credentials configure your credentials if we click on this so here we can configure whatever credentials you want we can add it now click on this click on this global credentials and click on add credentials and suppose suppose if we have username i want to connect ssh that case we need to select select this one ssh username with and see here it is asking id whatever you want we can give it so this is uh, just i given a uh, login and a description also i am giving for your understanding purpose later i will show you and username so in aws ec2 instance default username is uh, ec2 ec2 iphone user this is the default username my instance and uh, so here i have every time mobile connecting uh, that aws instance i have a public and private key open this public and private key open this public and private key and just copy don't modify anything don't delete anything just simply copy control c just close it and uh, so come to here come to here and here there is a private key there is one option is there right click on the private key and there is a key just add this key that's it paste it that's it create now i selected uh, so which type click on i selected ssh username with private key ssh username with private key 
<clears throat> like this uh, we can add uh, so different ways we can add uh, many ways uh, whatever you want uh, we can add it now here uh, that also we can see here now see go to job go to configuration section under configuration section now go to here now in this drop down uh, now we can see three options see ec2 user credentials aws login now suppose if you want to connect with my aws instance and in that case we can select here clear guys anyone any doubt here or dharni sudhir clear so how many ways we can add credentials so what is the option go to manage jenkins and go to credentials and click on this and go to global and add credential and we can give select kind so username password or if you want to add ssc username with private key or if you have any secret file so that case we can add this one also secret file so this is the secret file and we have to give and description and we have to choose that secret file where is your secret file so there is depends on our requirement we can add it this is very simple only okay now there is a credential providers okay now we can see six types right how many ways we can add credential six ways username with password github app authentication ssh username ssh with username and secret file secret text certificate now users few uh, so for security reason i don't want to display these options to users okay user means real time we are login our user only not administrator for base of that uh, i want to disable few options so how to disable now see here there is a credential provider if you go to here so here in this case credential how many credentials you know six types ssh username sir username with password github app ssh uh, with user uh, user and uh, secret file secret text certificates now here if you see here providers all available all our types also all available and there is no restrictions as of now allow all i don't want to allow i want to restrict so i want to display only a uh, few uh, credentials and all so that case there is a providers types and restrictions so now if you see here there is include is there exclude is there so exclude if you see here exclude providers what type of jenkins uh, credential provider user credential provider whatever you want now same way if you see here all types i want to exclude so i want to exclude so whatever folder credentials or jenkins credentials whatever you want now i am now you will come to here types exclude now see here these are the default options for me it is showing right username with password git app ssh username with private key secret file secret text certificate so now i mean i don't want to display all these things i am excluding i don't want this uh, i want to exclude this one this one this one just assume i don't want display these things exclude include means add exclude means i don't want apply save now if you go here go to manage jenkins go to credential provider now if you see here sorry not here uh, credentials right where is credentials here right credential tools users credential providers okay if you go here this is done now we need to add credential right go to manage jenkins uh, credentials and click on this global credentials click on the add credential so now in this case now we can see so earlier we can see all options right now clear adha adha unda credential types kind earlier we can see all types all kinds Six now types excluded things. now excluded uh, so now excluded few things so duplicate now if you go to here manage jenkins if you go to here here go to manage jenkins and uh, so if you see here there is this option credential providers 
here I excluded few things I excluded right I don't want we don't want to display so that case uh, so here we can select uh, I want to display only username with password I don't want display secret file also apply save now go to here just refresh it now we can see only the two options now we can see only the two options if you want to we can include or if you want to we can exclude exclude means I don't want to display that users these options and all so that case uh, we can use include and exclude but mostly we won't use but real time also if you are admin only we can manage we can configure we can play with all these options if you are not admin if you are not admin in real time we can't we can't see these options also we can't play with these options also just make sure that if you are admin only we can uh, modify we can create we can whatever you want we can do it if you are not admin in real time mostly 99 percent they won't give admin access if really if you are admin uh, we can do all this if you are not admin we can't see these options that is one more thing just note now if we come to here now how to you know right how to this is the users how to credentials how to uh, credential providers and uh, so there is a security there is one more option is is security so this is also very very important security so anyone any doubt guys here these three options how to create user and uh, what are the how many ways we can add credentials and all and if you want to exclude include any credential providers so that options also we can include or exclude now in this section very very important section security very very important section security see here secure Jenkins define who is allowed to access use the system who is allowed to use this system so anyone any doubt here as of now I hope clear right yes sir mm now if you come to here in this section uh, this is very very important security now if you click on security now see observe here so this is a security tab and authentication disable me and uh, see right now we are using which uh, security realm jenkins own database if you click on drop down now already i told right ldap organization level we are using ldap server if you select this ldap server now it is asking uh, so server what is server url what is the port number we have to configure this all these things so that if you configure ldap servers your username password it is coming from this server only but uh, real time so 90 percent 100 percent we are using this one only but practice purpose right now i don't have anything right so that is the reason we are using jenkins own user database clear so there Jenkins user, but options is same only. But extra, we have to configure only this server. This and all, uh, if you ask, uh, if you ask network team, they will provide. So, what is our LDAP server? They know admin team. So, what is the LDAP server? What is the port number? We have to give, we have to configure some basic information. So, add server configuration. So, whatever you want, we can ask network team, they will provide. Once you configure, now we need to test the LDAP settings. Right now, I don't have anything, right? So for that also, we need username, password. We need username, password. See here, use your LDAP username, password to test your LDAP settings before saving. This will available your settings and prevent you from the being so accidentally locked out. So see here, for best practice, uh, it is a good practice to verify few other user accounts as well as you can use an empty password whatever you want so first you need to it is the help of uh, that is ldap username password first we have to check whether it is working or not the settings are all are accepting or not so these are the real time mostly we are maintaining ldap server but uh, in this case right now this is our own jenkins server right we can use jenkins own user database jenkins own user database now see here so now there is one option is there allow user to sign up allow user to sign up now see here if i click on sign out button if i click on sign out button so now see here uh, do you have any option to sign up here for example i forgot my username password 
now how to log in my jenkins server guys just assume so my username my password i don't know so long back i used right now i forgot my username password now how to log in do you have any any option here separately sign up no now see here if you go to here and uh, so go to manage jenkins go to manage jenkins if you go to here security tab if you go to here security tab and there is one option allow user to sign up now see here if you select this uh, with the sign up enable anyone Mm. on your network can become an authenticated your user it is recommended in this case uh, minimize the permissions granted to any authentication user now i allowed save now see here i saved log out now see here there is a one option extra one option enable right can you observe here can you see here uh yes sir. we can register if we click on this yeah, yeah. now it is asking username password now see here this is the the apps okay username also i am giving the apps we have to set the password also okay and so click on the create account now see here now i logged in which is there dev apps user click on dashboard see here everything we can see so now go to dashboard go to manage jenkins and uh, so go to users now we can see this user here also see here dev apps user dev apps user now got it if some case if some case you forgot your username password you don't know what is my username i don't know what is my password so how to log in how to log in so there is a directly one option is there so directly we can register and we can log in but anyway this won't enable and real time they won't give this access but everyone can they can log in they can register and they can log in right is there any security no right so if you want to we can this is the option go to where is that option go to manage jenkins and uh, so go to security option and mostly this is disable only mostly this is different only and one more option this is the security now if you come to here authorization logged in user can do anything now this is a see by default logged user can do anything so now i am the user right i am the administrator just earlier i logged into which user uh, dev user dev apps user so now by default this is the option logged in user can do anything what is this meaning here itself we can understand easily logged in user can do anything like it is acting as admin right clear so there yes sir so logged in user can do anything what is this meaning admin. so which our user logged in that user can do anything that user can act as like admin correct that yes. user has act as admin, admin. but is it uh, is it uh, in real time it is not suitable in real time it is not suitable in real time based on user role based on user access we are giving some access level but this is our own server right we can use it but real time we never never use this one okay this options okay now if you click on here you can see uh, so anyone can do anything legacy mode logged in user can do anything mixed based security project based matrix authentication security we can see many options in the drop down now see here but mostly in real time we are using uh, project based matrix authentication uh, there is a one more plugin is there that is role based authentication plugin next class i will show you very very important real time 100 percent we are following that plugin only okay what is the plugin role based authorization strategy plugin role based role based even if you want to see here we can search here <laughs> go to manage jenkins go to plugins what is this available plugin what is the plugin name role based this is the actual plugin name role based authorization strategy plugin this is very very important so next class i will explain so real time mostly we are using this plugin
what is the plugin guys role based authorization plugin see here enables user authorization using role based strategy Rules can be defined globally or particular jobs or nodes selected by regular expressions. So role based authorization start means use based on user role. I am the role. I am the user. Just as I am. There is one more user. There is one more user. Now if you see here he is the developer. He is the developer. For developers uh, so we have to provide some access level. Correct. So he is the tester for testers. We have to give some access level For testers we want to provide some access level. I don't want to give full access I am the DevOps engineer or just as he is a manager For manager I want to give some other access extra permissions Okay, so how to provide so if you want to provide based on user role so developers i want to give some access level for testers i want to give some access level for a devops user i want to give some access level for team lead i want to provide some access level for managers i want to provide some access level now got it so if i give for all users same access level there is no use right Understand if under okay access level is not go there is no uh, There is no difference right there is no access level uh, permissions Under admin lay for example here if now in this case now all are admin logged in user can do anything means what is the meaning? Admin, admin. But real time this is uh, this is not possible. This is very difficult to handle if you give admin level for everyone they can do something so what is our requirement based on user role based on user role we have to provide some access levels we have to give some access levels so this is the very very important so tester tester means they are the tester they want read access developer i want to provide read access and write access for manager Manager means he is handling multiple projects. I want to give all project access. A team lead, he is handling one or two projects. I want to give only that particular projects. So this is very very important in real time. Otherwise we cannot handle. So if you come to organization level, there is Jenkins. This is enterprise Jenkins server, right? Many projects, many jobs running parallelly. If we give full permission to everyone. Maybe knowingly unknowingly I can delete other projects. I can run other projects. I can do something I can modify But how can I identify who modified who deleted who who changed this is very difficult to handle in real time So we need we need to provide some access level, right? We need to give some security So that case so mostly we are using role based authorization strategy. Okay. Anyway next class I will explain so for the time being leave it. Okay now if you come to here click on the click on the security click on the security now see here click on the security so these are the jenkins own database and also here and also here so logged in user can do anything now real time never ever use this one okay mostly we are using matrix based security or project based security or if you install role based authorization strategy so we can see that option here also now suppose just if I select a matrix based now see here there so authenticated users so authenticated users can do what they want which access permissions you want to give see here overall read permission create permission delete permissions or administrator permission whatever you want we can add here see for example agent level what type of permissions you want to provide job level what type of permissions you want to provide so run level what type of permissions you want to provide credentials now understand or not so see here this is a matrix based security so now there is one more option is azure project based matrix security now see here project you can add users we can add groups see here this is a matrix based this is a matrix based and if you see here this is a project based 
and here also we can add users see here user id add user id so now select any one user now go to here already you know right users leave it go to manage jenkins where is the users users and uh, so copy any one user click on this and uh, so what is the user id this is the devops now go to here click on add user user id devops click on add so now see here for this user for this user so overall he is administrator we can select administrator no 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 i don't want to administrator and i want to give only job level so you can create cancel job configure job create job delete job move so like this we can select and also run so i can give run permissions and also i can provide view permissions whatever you want credentials so like this if you want to group any group right now i don't have any group so directly we can give group level also directly we can give group level also so this is the project based matrix authorization strategy and same way if you select a matrix based same it is asking see here anonymous user authenticated user we need to add that username we need to add that username both are almost same only we can configure so compared to this option so jenkins people they are providing one more option role based role based role based authorization strategy based on user role and what type of access level you want to provide so that and all we can uh, add here so right now that uh, that is that plugin is not installed we can't see here next class i will show you how to install that plugin and we have to do we have to configure uh, some steps also so next class i will show you how to configure and all see here this app now see here i am using and uh, so a logged in user can do anything now see here this is the markup format so markup format means uh, these are the default only so if you want to work out you want so remain thing this is a not mandatory so if you want to configure any web books and all we can configure and uh, so remaining option uh, so no need mostly get configure any verification this is the uh, api token anyway we are not we are not going to generate any token ids and all so mostly we are using this option so what is this option so here author this is the this is the authorization this is the authorization and we have to install one plugin also we have to install one plugin also so how it will work i will explain next class now if you go to here manage jenkins and see here so this is a, now this is very very important real time 99 percent we are using this option and also users these are the in this section these are the important users and also securities and also security yeah. so anyone any doubt guys as of now clear so there clear so these are the security under the security yes, tab sir. so these are the default configuration right now we are working but uh, so mostly we need to use uh, one we need to install one plugin once we install we can see that option here also right now we can't see next class i will show you so next class i will show you okay so now that is one thing now come to here so go to manage jenkins now if you see here there is a uh, in process uh, script approval this is the mostly we want to use this is the script if we have any script and all or approval process and all so that case we can use uh, this one this is the the groovy uh, script we want to add here newly they added this option newly they added this option see here in process script approval so allow jenkins administrator to view proposed script written in groovy suppose if you written any groovy script suppose if you written any groovy script whether that is working or not i want to approve so we want to check and approve it as a admin level as an administrator whether it is working or not so right now we don't know groovy right so while explaining uh, what is it uh, pipelines and all uh, there i will show you so these are related to this is related to script approval script approval so suppose if you develop any one script so product specific suppose i written one script so whether that script is everything working fine 
we are following same syntax and all so everything it is fine or do we have any we need to update so if you want to see so there is an option so this is the in process script approval so now we can see we can copy and paste and we can check it so whether it is working or not so this is actually the added option so we can add it this is first we need to know how to write a groovy script and all otherwise this is we can't write anything so approval the groovy script from the admin so group script from the admin if any script they are implemented so whether it is working or whether it is we are following uh, same uh, same pattern or so if you want to check it so that and all we can copy and we can check it even i didn't use so that is the they added this is the uh, one more option i don't know in process script approval so allow jenkins administrator to review proposed scripts written in the groovy only which run inside the jenkins process and so could bypass security restrictions a script pending approval okay one script pending approval here nothing is approval i didn't add anything by default it is showing this option only by default it is showing this option only but mostly we won't uh, so real time also we are not going to use all options so just based on your requirement based on project requirement we are going to configure only specific options we are not going to there is many options available here no need to configure no need to use all options so whatever you need which our options you need only we are go and configure and check it but there is uh, this here they are they added many right mostly in this sections we are using security users and if you come to in this sections mostly uh, we are using our uh, systems tools plugins and nodes this is also very very important topic i will explain later and uh, so next class i will explain so how to install role based uh, role based that is a uh, authorization plugin and uh, so based on user role and how we are providing access level to particular users and all we'll see clear yeah. guys anyone any doubt here now these are very simple options only mostly we want to use never we are not using and uh, so there is few more options i will explain next class right. clear guys yes sir as of now anyone any doubt so this is very very important uh, security and the next class i will show you so role based how to install and set up that is we need to do some steps and all okay that is reason just to practice it so these all are very simple options only as of now we discussed and the next class we'll see so main options security how we'll configure and all okay so that's it from my side and uh, so if you have any doubt we can ask or else we'll wind up we'll connect tomorrow tomorrow i will explain also so that is how to install how to configure that is role based uh, authorization strategy plugin